tonight I was very pleased with how we played for two halves. Uh, obviously, we had a very substantial lead at halftime, and we challenged the kids in the locker room to really go out in the second half and, and in a sense, bury our opponent. And uh, even though we won the second half only by 10 points, uh, we never let up, and we gave great effort. And I was very pleased with our performance uh, from the first player to the last player that got in. Uh, we had everyone score except for uh, KJ, Caitlin Eagle, and uh, so a good team victory. Now, Taylor Brown was averaging about 24, 25 a game. You held her to about uh, 10 or so under. What was your plan for her going in? You know, with Taylor Brown, it's a situation, we felt like she was a lot like Allen Iverson in his prime, a fearless kid who was a great athlete that could score inside and out. And um, anytime she came off a ball screen or a handoff action, you know, we wanted to make sure that she went as wide as possible. Uh, when she came through the lane without the basketball, we wanted to make sure that we bumped her. Uh, we, wanted to, we wanted to be physical with her. Uh, and, and most importantly, keep her, keep her in front of us. Um, we have some taller guards in Dev Workman and Liv Bresnahan who guarded her. Uh, both of them guarded her uh, pretty substantially throughout the game. And their length can bar bother her. Uh, she shoots a very good step back jumper, but our length, I think, gave her some trouble. Four in double figures, but looking at how Belma played today, a lot of non -stat big plays for her. I agree with that 100%. I said the same thing in radio. Uh, you know, we had four people in double figures, but Belma's three for five from the field, six points, three rebounds, six assists, no turnovers, and a steal. But her defensive intensity and playing properly defensively in the way we wanted to was a big key to our success. I thought Belma Nurkic played outstanding tonight. Yeah, how about that? 42 points off the bench um, with Devin Air Workman. Um, maybe if I was a smart head coach, I'd probably find a way to get Devin Air more time than 22 minutes because she's scoring 18 mint points in 22 minutes. Uh, <laughs> but obviously very happy with Dev um, being 8 for 13, 7 rebounds and 18 points in just 22 minutes. Um, she was able to get into the lane and get basically any shot she wanted today. And, um, she's a heck of a basketball player, and when we have that kind of firepower with her coming off the bench, we're going to have a lot of success. But also, uh, Millie Gronish, Amelia Gronish, you know, today, for, it, it, she's so unsung in some ways, Amelia Gronish is. She's four for five, two for three from the three-point line for 10 points in 15 minutes. I think she's shooting nearly 50% from the three-point line for the year. So teams nowadays that we're playing in conference, they scout us so well, they know they have to guard her at the three-point line, which opens up so much more for us in terms of driving lanes and post play. Uh, our post players should thank her every day because of the way she shoots the ball. She just opens up so much for Amadea and Josie. You know you're going to enjoy this victory until midnight tonight, but what can you tell us about your next match? <laughs> yeah, we're going to enjoy this till midnight. I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna have a Shinerbach tonight, and uh, we're gonna enjoy it till midnight, and then we'll get started on Dayton in the morning. Um, obviously, it's Duquesne and Dayton; uh, they've gotten us the last couple times, but uh, it's a game that we always look forward to because we think Coach Jaber and, and the Dayton program is an outstanding program and sort of the flagship for the Atlantic Ten, and uh, we always enjoy enjoy, enjoy going there because they have a, a really great crowd and it's a great atmosphere and um, we're going to take our best shot at them and it uh, should be a, a good basketball game.